Hello, good morning or good day. Welcome to Turning Point with Femi Emmanuel. Welcome to this daily prophetic encounter where we engage the insightful teachings of God's word with testimonies from God's people and a prophetic tongue to provoke heaven for supernatural re re releases and God answers. Welcome also to Wednesday, October 26. Open your hands to receive and be responding with Amen. I receive it. You shall be far from oppression. You shall be far from destruction. And you shall be far from the evil by day or by night. There is an anointing and God's presence on this platform. Grace makes great. Grace removes disgrace. And grace upgrades. There is grace upon this commission. May God's grace on everyone increase. There is strange anointing on this mountain that makes the weak get strong, that makes the sick get healed, the poor get rich. He turns sinners into saints, raising giant, raise up the fallen, and turns a zero into a hero. It makes you get back what you have lost, redeem time for you, and put a shine on you for the whole world to see. No one under this grace shall be cut short or cut down. You will fulfill your purpose. You will live a good life. Everyone experiencing positive changes since you joined this global family, you shall see bigger, greater, and more accelerated lifting. And if anyone has not been seeing great changes, or you have not even seen any change at all, I prophesy your change, visible and sustainable change, begins today. If you are rich, you will be richer. If you are strong, you shall become stronger. If you are doing well, you will do better. God shall mop up all tears and turn them to laughters. All say amen. Who is this? It has been battles and battles, struggle and struggles all your life. From childhood till now, you never know rest. Battle over your health, your career, your marriage, battle to go to school, battle to pass out, to get a job, promotion, traveling out of the country, home, your blessing, your program, your project, your ministry, your finance. It has been battle, battle, struggle, struggles all the time. If this describes you, lay your hand on yourself or raise the photograph of your loved ones. I bow my knees before God on this altar. For your sake, your battles are over. God takes these battles and these struggles off your hand this day. Go from victory to victory, from conquest to conquest. The storm and the siege over your life, they are over. Same for your children. Your pursuer shall perish in the Red Sea, like Pharaoh when pursuing the children of Israel. You will transit from battles to rest, from battles to celebrations, in Jesus' name. Who is this? You have the spirit of fear. You are always afraid of so many things. Anytime you want to attempt a new thing, you are afraid it might fail. Fear grips your heart. When you want to travel, you are afraid you might not return. To meet people, you are afraid of them. No, fear is a torment. Lay your hand on your heart if you are the one I'm describing. I command the spirit of fear to leave you alone. That yoke of fear is broken today. Receive boldness and courage. Receive the power of God and the fearless heart in Jesus' name. Now, October 26th, celebrant your prayers. Open your hand. You are blessed. Your bad day is blessed. Your new year is blessed also. The number of your days you will fulfill in Jesus' name. Happy bad day. Okay, listeners, let's run. First situation for teachings today. How can I live a life of abundance without depending on my salary all the time? Wow, this is what we teach here every time. Do not be a one-income source person. So be a producer, be enterprising, producer of goods and services. Have investments that can bring you additional income, passive income. No one needs to steal, steal or engage in corrupt practices to have money. No, save money up, learn a trade, connect to a mentor, start a business, grow it gradually. You will be earning additional income. And there are many investment opportunities and possibilities that anyone can go into. So talk to business experts you know for advice. Next, good day, Pastor. Please help me. I'm a regular tighter. I don't joke with my tight. But my husband, who is a minister and a fat and elder in the church, hardly pays his tight. And this is affecting the family finance. 
If I want to talk, he talk. Every time I bring it up, he turns to quarrel. Things have not been easy for us, even though he received a huge salary and he has other ventures. It has been from one problem to the other. We have three cars, but only one remains. And that one is always going to mechanic all the time. I'm getting fed up. I feel like walking out of this marriage because I believe his disobedience to God is affecting us. I will be better off on my own. Your counsel, sir. Wow. Mm. This is one of the challenges of marriage. No, you shouldn't walk out of that marriage. You have a prayer and a patient need here. Prayers for God to touch his heart and open his eyes to the reality that a devourer is feasting on him because he refused to be a titer. He refused to be faithful to God. Sure, his disobedience in Titan is affecting the entire family and well the finances because he's the head of the family. Now, but you have already married him. So, warfare prayers for God to intervene. Then, are you doing joint account? Don't you have your own financial life? If not, please build up your own financial life. God can prosper you despite him. This is a lesson to all couples. Serve God together and be faithful to him together so that nothing affects your family. Next, good morning, sir. Is it good to use my 10% to buy what I consider a need or lacking in the church and put it there instead of paying it as a tithe? Thank you, daddy. Wow. Yes, pay your tithe as written in Malachi chapter 3 verse 10. Take your tithe to the storehouse. It is additional money you should use to buy and fix whatever you consider is a need in the church. For with God we bless you also. But as for tithe, it is not for church members to decide what to use their tithe to buy and put in the church. No. Pay your tithe to the storeroom of the kingdom of God. Next, daddy, I'm a single man in love with a woman with four children. Hus her husband has already divorced her. I want to marry her. Can I go ahead? Thank you, sir. I need your advice. Wow. I can hear some people reacting and saying, ah, which one is this? A single man in love with a divorced woman with four children. There is nothing we will not hear on this platform. My friend, why? Why do you want to do that? Which love is that one? Is it love or you are under a spell? You are being maneuvered? Why was she divorced? To start with, have you found out? Then will you be able to adopt the four children as your own? You can't marry a woman and disown her children. Come on, wake up from that bad dream. Don't try it. Find a young woman to marry. Next, good morning, daddy. Sometimes last year, I saw a lady chatting with my husband on his phone, telling the lady to relocate to Lagos. I never asked him, and I never reacted to it. I didn't do as if I saw anything. But for some months now, each time we want to come together as husband and wife, he starts complaining that I am not romantic. I am dirty. He calls me names. And for more than a month now, he has not touched me. We only live like neighbors in the house. Before now, I've been enduring many things. But now I'm fed up. Can I separate from him for a while? Wow. Separation should not be the first option or the first thing. It is communication. After seeing the church, the church, you will have waited for a good time and bring it up with him. And if he's denying and you have your hard evidences, then it is time to bring a mentor, somebody you respect, you both respect, to intervene. Your pastor, an elder, or a mentor. There is no smoke without fire. Then what is the foundation of this marriage? Has he always been promiscuous? Did you give him sex? Was he doing that with you even before your marriage? All problems have roots, and we must dig down to the root if we want the problem to be solved. Let your pastor, an elder, a mentor, somebody he said highly, get involved. Then you also engage in warfare prayers. Because once a strange woman is involved, the man is no longer himself. There are diabolical moves already involved. You to go on spiritual warfare, as we have taught it here. Then let somebody you both respect sit you down and cancel you. By the grace of God, you will not lose your home. The spell on him will break in Jesus' name. Listeners, 
rebroadcast this message to your contact. Let's do so daily. Let's deliver our word from ignorance and connect them to an anointing that will propel them up. Today is the prayer mountain service at our Abuja Center in Nigeria. As I announced yesterday, 12 to 2 p.m. at Kado Life Camp after the fish market, Living Spring Chapel. Telephone numbers for more information, 0806-133-2800. Start calling or chatting now. Tomorrow is the prayer mountain in Ikeja, Lagos, Goshen Land, opposite Allen Buster. In two services, 7 to 9 a.m. and 9.30 to 11.30 a.m. Attend the one that is most convenient for you. You can also attend the two. Most people do. Come and receive the anointed mantle for praying and doing miracle free. Come and receive the anointed money for financial breakthrough free. Come and learn. Come and be anointed. Come and hear testimonies. Prayer Mountain this week is anointing for rest on all sides. Come and receive anointing for rest on all sides. It shall be simultaneously held at Dominion City, by the Kuluba Abekuta, Oshobo and Akure, same services. For more information, call Dupe on 0806-478-8392. It shall be live streamed. So connect to prayer mountain services tomorrow from wherever you are all over the world. If you want us to send you the commission's account, the PayPal or the regular account, for your regular and faithful tithing as month is ending now, if you are a monthly tighter. For your battle, thanksgiving, and partnership commitment seed. And the 10, 10, 10 seed we are sowing this month. Next month, we will sow 11, 11, 11 seed. Send a chat message or please send me the commission's account to plus 234 809 789 That line only. I prophesy to everyone's life today, be blessed. God sent me because of you. Heaven will not rest until you are truly blessed and fulfilled. I'm Femi Emmanuel. I love you. Have a great day. Bye.